ओके गाइस इट्स मी इमाद फ्रॉम नेल्सन डार्विन पार्क टेक यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल वी विल लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू यूज ए ट्राइक विद इन दी फॉल्स टेट डॉट कॉम ऑनलाइन सिमुलेटर फर्स्ट यू मस्ट नो दैट ट्राइक इज जस्ट लाइक दी थायरेस्टर दैट इज दी एस सी आर बट देर इज ए माइन्यूट डिफरेंस बिटवीन थायरेस्टर एंड ट्राइक द ट्राइक इज having the capability of conducting of conduction in both sides while the thyristor is not capable of doing that it can just conduct in one direction both have the gate terminal and uh, like uh, anode and cathode okay but the conduction in like uh, a by by conduction and uniconduction uniconduction means conduction in or uh, one side and by means in both direction okay now let's try to make it so first we need to go and take our voltage terminal that is 5 volts and we also need to connect it to the ac okay ac so that we can have the uh, signal on both sides okay now this is our ac supply of 40 hertz then we will go and take our what's called is the trike so this is our trike okay okay we need to connect it like this okay after trike we will uh, attach one resistor a load resistor whose value must be like 50 ohm and not more than that Okay, so 50 ohms. Take wire. Okay, now take voltmeter. Take ground. Okay, like this. Okay, and now we will uh, give a control signal on our gate terminal. Okay, so take uh, switch. That is the uh, any switch like uh, is simple. Then we will go for our some voltage source. That is input and sources. So. Eight voltage source terminal one. So this is our voltage source, and we need to connect it like this. Then gate terminal needed to be connected with the okay like this. Okay now, first uh, we need to reduce the voltages just to just uh, two volts, and uh, let's uh, make this switch open. now you can see that uh, current is not flowing because uh, here blue dot uh, yellow dots are representing the current and there is just like uh, some seepage seeping voltages that is micro uh, in the range of micro volt so there isn't any sort of conduction one more thing that when when we will switch on the thyristor then what will happen then that it is it, it it will go into the latch section that is even after removing even after the removal of the gate signal it is still going to conduct okay so now okay now you can see that our conduction is established and you can see the direction of the current and there is a, like a, on both sides there is conduction okay not in the single side you can see the yellow dots are representing the current flow now we are making the gate signal off okay our holding current okay wait more thing that there must be some holding current okay so it is 6 uh, okay 
this thing milli volt okay okay now okay now we will make a dc waveform okay like okay now now you can see that our track used to go in the latched action like even even if we used to remove uh, what is called as the gate signal still it used to conduct and why this is so because in ac in ac waveform sometimes the ac voltages and the ac current used to be less than because it is alternating or changing so it can be less than what's called as the holding current so that is why it is not going to latch at all so if there is dc there is a latching action now no signal at the gate and still the track is in conduction mode so don't forget to subscribe our channel and thanks for visiting